Saturday, July 13th, time to get you in the know. I'm Matt Hamill alongside meteorologist Rhythm Reet. Rhythm, the worsening of the wildfire situation, that appears like it's going to be a big topic of discussion in the days to come. Wildfire smoke becoming a greater presence in different parts of Canada. But Rhythm, the forecast in recent days has kind of set up a worsening of this situation. Absolutely, Matt. When we're talking about British Columbia, let's just go back from July 7th all the way to July 11th. We had multiple daily record broken by the max temperature. So on July 9th, we had 37 records broken in terms of what was set in the past for that specific day. And even in British Columbia became the hot spot once again after it was um, Ashcroft for a little while, reaching all the way up to 42.5. And this was all thanks to that heat dome. And when we're even taking a look at the drought graphic, right, Matt, when we're going back to June 30th, what we saw was an improvement in our long term droughts as well, especially for central regions across British Columbia and definitely for the northern regions of Alberta. But this first week, that heat dome and that heat has well, well, kind of reverse what we've seen as an improvement. Yes, yeah, so July has gotten off to a start. We saw that weather hot and dry in different parts of the country. Now we're kind of seeing those impacts and rhythm, not just increased wildfire activity, but the smoke starting to become. We know how big of a story that was last year with that record setting wildfire season. Where are we at right now? Well, when we're talking about the wildfires across Western Canada, we have upwards of over 300 active wildfires currently for areas across British Columbia, Northwest Territories, Alberta, and Saskatchewan. But additionally, Matt, due to the um, wild, due to the warmer temperatures and that heat dome, even towards the western end of the United States, saw a influx of wildfires. But when we're taking a look at just our numbers for British Columbia into Alberta, 71 wildfires currently currently out of control in British Columbia and when we move over to like Alberta we have 32 and additionally for areas like Saskatchewan upwards of 81 as well so very very active uh, widespread as well. Yeah, one thing we've already seen is a number of air quality concerns in parts of Western Canada. But as the evolution of this sort of fire situation goes on, much like last year, we're seeing wildfire smoke sometimes spread rather far to different parts of the country. Isn't that right? And that's going to be all thanks to the jet stream. It's a quite an interesting setup when we take a look at what we have from this week into the early parts of next week. This troughing over Hudson Bay, that's what's going to push a lot of that smoke towards the south. Additionally, that ridge over the United States, that's going to keep that smoke further towards the north, creating basically a highway of smoke spreading into regions of southern Ontario and Quebec. And we're already starting to see some of this upper level smoke. So we will be looking at uh, bigger pulses as we're heading towards Saturday evening across areas of Barrie, Toronto. This is more so of that upper level smoke. When we're talking about the lower level smoke, that's what directly affects us. That's what's going to be you're going to be smelling in the atmosphere. We're definitely not going to be taking a look at that across regions of southern Ontario. However, for northwestern Ontario, for areas across Manitoba, especially into tomorrow morning, that air quality is going to be drastically degraded. But for areas across Ontario and into Quebec, that upper level smoke that can knock a couple of degrees off of our temperatures and give those vibrant sunrises and sunsets. So what I'm getting rhythm is that certain areas are getting an increase in that low level smoke. That's the smoke that irritates the lungs, the eyes and reduces air quality. The higher level smoke like we're already seeing in parts of Ontario maybe diminishing the temperature by a degree or two, getting those orange sunsets. So an interesting development of the wildfire situation. Absolutely. And we're going to look at more of those warmer conditions to come.